Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a melody using a V Studio Pro from Dream Tonics. And we're going to do that inside um, uh, Ableton Live. And we're going to use also custom codes to create a little bit of an arrangement. And in this way, I'm going to show you uh, VStudio, Synthesizer VStudio Pro inside uh, um, Edo, which uh, is really nice. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so I have a new live set. Let's click on the first track and let's bring in um, Captain Chords. And there they are. Let's select a key, a scale minor. That's fine. Let's go to the top chords and let's refresh the button so that we create um, a pro chord progression. And um, let's adjust a little bit of volume here because normally it's quite high. And then let's go back inside the Captain Chords and click play. So we have an A minor, a C major, G major, and F major. Okay, perfect. And in the chords change for every major. Okay, we leave that as it is. We go to the second MIDI track and we bring in Dreamtronic Synthesizer V Studio Pro. Okay, so the tempo by default is set actually to 120, which matches the tempo that we have inside Ableton Live as default. On the first track, we select a voice. Kevin is fine for now. And then we select here the pencil, and we're going to start a, the creation of a bit of a melody. So nothing really is special. Uh, so first was an A minor, then a C major, then perhaps we go down to a C chord, like so. Then we go up perhaps to a G major, so a G, and then we go down to an F, like so. Perfect, so let's click play. Okay, so why don't we create something a little bit more special? So yeah, let's create a transition here. So for example, let's reduce these like so. And uh, this is going from an A to a C. Why don't we use an E here, for example, like so, and let's align it properly. Okay, so let's um, test it a bit and see what it sounds like. Perfect. Okay, let's align in this note as well. Perhaps we get it to finish a little bit earlier like that. And then we create another transition note here, which would be uh, nice. And perhaps these could go, uh, why not, um, up instead of down, like, um, for example, here. Perfect, like so. And let's listen, and perhaps we get this one to finish a little bit earlier as well. Okay, let's try. Okay, and that is really nice. And let's try to make it a little bit more interesting. So, um, actually, because uh, uh, Captain Coach is going to uh, repeat um, the um, the melody, the sorry, the uh, set of chords. Why don't we actually try to create a group? So we click here to have the selection tool, click and drag like so. So we select all the different notes like so, right click, and then we say merge into a group. And what you find is under here, if you click this side panel, you have the group there, which at the moment is called the la 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 as it says here as well. So we can uh, double click there and change the name. So let's say that we are going to change the name to a first group. So we just write first like so. It doesn't change automatically, but as soon as you hover it like so, it says group first now. And this is very useful because you can then use it as um, well to copy and paste. So for example, click and drag like so, and um, you drop immediately a um, and that group, 
which is really nice. So, and then of course you can adjust it uh, um, further, like so, and then you can click play. La, 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 la. The interesting thing is that copy of the groups are sh shared in terms of instances. So double click on the group like so. And uh, oops, not in these way so let's um, remove that particular um, note so let's uh, cut it perfect and so let's go to the group here okay double click on it and double click again let's change the first note to say something like one click enter and you see on the second version of the group here it says one as well and let's do the second here as well double click again and we write two enter and you will find that um, let's go up exit that selection of the group you will find that two is also applied on the second copy of the group because they share the same instance okay so let's click play One, la, la. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoy seeing Synthesizer V Studio Pro inside uh, your dough. And as always, see you next time. Bye.